Hello and welcome, my name is Josh and today I'm going to show you how you can set up a toolpath to resurface your spoil board. Best part of all is it's only going to take you three and a half minutes to set up and you can save it and reuse it as many times as you like. So let's just quickly clarify something. There's a big difference between flat versus level. If you're going to go with level, you're probably going to run into some trouble because if your floor is not exactly level, then chances are your machine is going to sit slightly off as well. Flat, on the other hand, is something totally different. What flat means is if you've got an end mill like this, it'll always be the exact same distance from your spoilboard surface, no matter where it moves. And that's basically what we want. Flat, not necessarily level. So to surface this spoil board, I bought a very inexpensive bit that I basically just use for this purpose and nothing else. I think it's pronounced Torcada. And the most important part that I want to know here is the diameter, which in this case is 28.6 millimeters. Next up, we just want to measure our spoil board. And to do this, you just measure from left to right and from top to bottom. And while you're at it, just make a little mark in the middle so you know exactly where the center is. All right, so here we are in VCarve, and I'm going to show you just how quick and easy this is to set up. First thing to do is obviously create a new file, and then we're going to enter the job size as the exact dimensions for our spoil board. Mine is 1,200 millimeters wide by 810. It's 18 millimeters thick, and we're going to use the center as our datum position. So click OK. And then we need to basically create a rectangle that's going to go around the outside edge of our spoil board. So for this, we're going to click draw a rectangle, make sure it's set to square. And here's a little neat trick for you. So remember the diameter of my end mill that I'm going to be using is 28 millimeters. You basically just need to use half of that. So what you do is you press or you type in X plus 14 equals and then for y you do the same y plus 14 equals and click create and then close that select the rectangle and then we're just going to align it so now you can see you got a rectangle that's exactly around the outer edge of your spoil board we'll click ok on that and then we're going to do a pocket toolpath so I'm just going to do 1.5 millimeter cut depth on this. And then I've already got my bit entered, as you can see here. And for 1.5 millimeters, a single pass is enough. I'm going to click raster and climb. The other thing to do is a profile pass. And we're going to do this on the outside and we're going to do it first. So we'll select first there. And then we also do ramp plunge moves. And this is basically double the diameter of your end mill. So in my case, it's about 57.6. And then we just click Calculate. Now, I like to use Toolpath Color selected here. And just pick any color. It doesn't matter, really. And what that does is if you select Preview All Toolpaths, it is basically just going to color the surface and you can see where you have missed anything, if you have missed anything. So in this case, it's covering the whole surface of the spoil board, which is exactly what we want. Then click close and you can save that. And also save this for later use by just clicking file, save or save as. And you can save it as a template as well if you like. Once you've got your toolpath loaded, center your surfacing bit on the spoil board exactly over that little mark you made in the middle and let the machine do all the hard work for you. And when all is done, you should have a perfectly flat spoil board ready to go again. And as you can see here, the surface is probably as close as I'm gonna get it to being perfect, except for maybe all of these little screw holes I made everywhere. And by the way, check out this video on how to build this handy vacuum boom for your CNC. I hope this simplifies things for you and it makes it much easier to understand. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.